Hi friends, uh, now that CAT is over, uh, the question that is there on a lot of people's mind is what next after CAT? So I'm here to tell you that the exam season is just starting, CAT is not the end of your journey. There are other exams that you can definitely give so that you get a seat into a prestigious MBA school this year. So let us take a look at what next after CAT, what exams can you give after CAT? Now, a lot of students struggle with quant, a lot of students struggle with DILR in this year's CAT. So, if you are somebody who struggled with both of these sections, I have good news for you because there are three exams that are coming up which will have much easier quant, much, much easier quant and sometimes absolutely no LRDI at all. So, let's get started. The first exam is obviously ZAT. ZAT is the uh, entrance exam for the prestigious XLRI Institute. The ZAT score is accepted by a bunch of other institutes also. So, it is a very, very important exam. It is next only to CAT in terms of importance. So, for ZAT, if you are somebody who does not like DILR section, I would say that this is the best uh, exam for you, especially if you are somebody who is naturally good in uh, verbal and who is uh, very uh, sensible, who has a calm head on their shoulders, this is an excellent exam for you. And I'll explain why. The structure of the exam is that you have verbal, you have VARC, RCs are there, some poems are there at times. There's critical reasoning, there's grammar, there's vocabulary in the verbal part. So if you're good at that, you will actually do fairly well in this exam. If not, we have courses which will help you get better also. So if you're, if you're not confident of grammar, if you're not confident of vocabulary, don't worry. These can easily be supplemented. There is quant, but the quant is much simpler, much easier than the quant that you actually have in CANT. And uh, you will have more time also to solve these kind of questions. The third part is decision making. Decision making is something that a lot of students struggle with, not because it is difficult as say, but it is slightly subjective and more important than that, that uh, decision making is something that is entirely new to students as such. It is not part of CAT at all. So, we are here to help you. So, how do you prepare for ZAT? So, we have a ZAT crash course. The ZAT crash course primarily focuses on firstly revising CAT concepts and essentially focuses on teaching you everything that is additional to ZAT which was not covered in CAT. So, we spend a lot of time teaching decision making topics. We spend a lot of time covering quant topics that are important to ZAT but are not taught in CAT as such. For example, statistics, so like mean, median, mode, standard deviation, uh, trigonometry, trigonometric identity. So, we cover everything which is specific to ZAT which is not covered in CAT. We also in the course cover uh, revise every important CAT topic which is part of that also. So, if you have uh, done CAT, you will find the workload to be much easier. You have to just do these additional things and you can crack that. If you have not done CAT also, you can use the revision videos, you can use the CAT specific videos, basically parts which are common between CAT and that. So, we will be preparing you fully for that. We will be focusing on all those things which are characteristic of that as such. In this exam, cracking decision making is extremely important. That is usually the hurdle which essentially falls most students. And this is the hurdle that uh, we will definitely help you clear as such. So, if you are looking for clearing that, do check out our ZAT crash course. So, now this is about ZAT. So, what happens if you are somebody who uh, is not good at DILR, is not very good at uh, difficult quant, especially the quant that came in CAT 2023? What should you actually focus on? So, there is the SNAP exam. The SNAP exam has no RCs. It has verbal section which is almost entirely covering the vocabulary and grammar which you can study. We have a course which will help you get uh, answer all of those questions. You have easier quant, quant which is much easier than what you would normally see in CAT or even that to an extent. And even more than that, you have no DILRs. The logical reasoning section would be uh, mostly having uh, critical reasoning, it would have uh, logical reasoning sets like arrangement but much simpler as such and there will be quantitative reasoning. So, these kind of questions are much more doable than the normal DILR sets that you see in CAT. So, if you are somebody who is struggling with the CAT uh, level of questions, this SNAP exam would be the right exam for you. You can definitely do well and if you do well in the SNAP exam, there you can get a seat in a prestigious institute of uh, uh, done by Symbiosis. This exam is conducted by Symbiosis Institutes and there are very good MBA colleges which accept the SNAP score. So, how do you actually prepare for the exam? So, we have a SNAP crash course, we have SNAP mock test. SNAP is an exam which will require some effort because you have to learn grammar, you have to learn vocabulary, you have to learn quantitative reasoning, you have to learn critical reasoning. So, we have an entire crash course which focuses on that. So, you can take a look at our SNAP crash course. This is definitely one of those exams where if you struggle in CAT, 
there is a very good chance that you can do well in the snap exam so please do check out our snap course now this is about the zat and snap exam then there is one more exam which is the nmat exam this is our third chance as such so the nmat exam is for the nmims college and it is also accepted the nmat score is also active, accepted by a list of other colleges so the nmat exam is a exam which has easier quant has no dilr has rcs uh, and uh, va but uh, the va and rcs are much easier as such there is some amount of grammar and vocabulary also the reasoning questions that are there are a mix of critical reasoning and banking reasoning puzzles if you have ever given a banking reasoning exam uh, you will know that these are easier puzzles of input output or uh, like coding decoding these are much easier puzzles so if you struggle with cat quant or cat dilr this is a third chance where you can actually do really well nmims is a very good college it has excellent placements as such so this is the third chance that you can actually look and try to ace this exam which would play to your strengths as such and which will not focus on your weaknesses as such so for nmat exam also we have a crash course as well as nmat mocks please do check out our crash course and please do take our nmat mocks these uh, the crash courses and the for zat Uh, snap and nmat are of the following format so we have a day wise schedule every day we will tell you what concept video you have to learn we give you the concept video we give you the concept test so you learn the new concept that is associated with the exam you get to solve a test which is a concept check as such and after that you have a uh, mock test to solve we spent a lot of time making sure that our mock test match the exact pattern of snap of nmat and of uh, that as such we have given that many years we know exactly what to expect in the exam we have given nmat we have given snap so because of that we know exactly what is there in the exam and the mocks are exactly to that pattern so they given a uh, good understanding of what you can expect in the actual exam so if you have given cat uh, if it has gone well congratulations start preparing for your interviews but also give these exams it is always good to have a lot of options in your hand if it has not gone well still do not get demotivated cat is the starting of the exam season the exam season is a long one so do not get demotivated there are these three exams that you can definitely do well in even if you didn't do well in cat as such these are exams which have different level of difficulty completely different syllabus and different things that are being tested so you can do well in this exam season you can get a good mba seat even if you have not done well in cat so please focus on the exams that are coming forward and do check out our crash courses and mocks